Gemini. Let's see what's happening for you guys. I have strength. Could be dealing with the Leo. Could have Leo placements. Okay, deep freeze. Feeling like you're stuck in time. You're going to be coming out of that, though, quickly. A need for you to go with the flow. Fours are going to be significant for you guys. So I have strength. I love this card. Um, then deep freeze came out. Again, could be dealing with a Leo. I'm getting pulled to that lion. Check all your placements, though, and see if you have any Leo placements. And then I have Ride the Wave and then Magic Stream. A need for you to do some type of detox or a cleanse. Let go, I use this affirmation all the time, I let go of all people, places, things, and habits that are preventing me from my highest timeline. Okay, the past. You need to let go of the past. With this nine of wands. You also may have someone from the past rushing in with this Knight of Swords coming towards you. But I feel like for some of you, you need to just cut them out. Okay, that's not going to resonate with everyone. They may put you in this deep freeze. Yeah, okay. They're, they leave you out in the cold. This person may have left you out in the cold in the past. You're getting justice. You have someone else coming in with a cup of love. Okay, so you could have this person and or a past person coming in. You have justice and judgment. Needing to make a final decision on what it is that you want. Let's see what's going on in love. <laughs> I have wedding. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, so for some of you, there's a person from the past. You just need to let go of them. You know who you are. Okay, so don't post in my comments. I don't want them back. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. Others of you, this person is coming back from the past. They want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Okay, they want to move forward in a committed relationship with you. For some of you, it's a past person. For some, for others of you, it's a new person. But you've had a history in the past of being left out in the cold. Okay, so this is a general reading. A couple different scenarios going on here. Don't try to force it to fit. I have this King of Cups at the bottom. Um, also this Knight of Cups coming in with this love offer. Tell me more about this wedding. You may have walked away from this person. They see you, though, as their Nine of Cups. They feel like you're the person that's going to make them happy for the rest of their life. Okay, they do want to come in and offer you some type of security with this, this page of Pentacles. Soulmate Energy and the Star. They see you as this star. Yeah, they see you as like the center of their world. You bringing them a lot of love, a lot of happiness. And I'm seeing the words finally. Like, yeah, for some of you, you've tried to give your cup to this person for a long time. Or you've wanted them to give you their cup. You may be in hermit mode right now. You're going to be coming out of hermit mode. So the hermit in reverse, and then this Nine of Pentacles, okay? So this is in Hermit Mode, coming out of Hermit Mode. Nine of Pentacles. This person, though, coming in, offering you their pentacle and putting you in the Nine of Pentacles energy. I love this. That The security of that relationship. Yeah, for some of you, this person was a player. 
or you had the perspective that they were a player or you just dealt with a lot of players in the past you need to really start listening to your intuition and your instincts there's a direction that you need to go in especially with your passion or with your purpose um that's the passion needing to really follow your intuition. This is crown chakra. The sun and the moon. Okay, so in instincts, there's the moon there. And then in this one, there's a sun. Like you're getting information, especially at night when you're sleeping, about what you should be doing during the day. You're not following it. Now, you may not be following it out of fear of what people are going to say with this gossip. And then I worked a holic. I also feel like there's a level of perfectionism that you have been made to believe that you need to hold. I'm workaholic too, but I feel like with this, this is about what you should be working towards versus what everyone else is saying you should be working on or towards. Okay. You're going to have to put that to the side. Again, that's not going to be for everyone. It's a general read. So this will be for some of you. Start listening to yourself. For some of you, this is about art. I'm getting pulled to the paintings. You should be making art, some type of art. Could be music, could be art. For others of you, it's also teaching. Teaching others to follow their passion is part of your actual purpose. Let's get some more information on that. Like you may be into um, spirituality, you may like be a teacher. Sixes are going to be significant. Sixes actually came up a few times here. Um, this soulmate energy moving towards success with this person. But this is also with your purpose. No matter what you do, you'll be successful. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You'll always have coin. You'll always be in abundance. If there's a fear that you're not going to financially be taken care of, you got to get rid of that fear. That's all it is, is just a fear. You will always be taken care of. Okay. This person coming in, Ten of Pentacles again. So this is like double confirmation. They have a lot to offer you. They're showing up as the emperor. And I love that it's, they're mirroring you as the queen of pentacles. They're going to mirror back to you how high value you really are. This relationship, you're going to build a lot of respect for each other also start some type of business like there could be something in service that the both of you do together it's going to be very profitable either for you or for the people that you're going to be working with a lot of abundance this person may come across like they're not emotional maybe they don't like right away share their emotions but they are going to be very deep with you they are going to be sharing those emotions with you. Let's look at the goddess card. Inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity.
You have a lot of peace and prosperity coming towards you. And then past life. And this is literally on Six of Cups. Okay, so this person, um, the situation involves your past life memories. Six of Cups is also like past person, um, soulmate memories. So the goddess Isis may be significant for you. The Middle East may be significant for you. Egypt specifically. And there may be something on that card that is significant for you guys. All right. I love you guys. You got this.